Hello everyone! Today we will work with an endoscope and look into the houses of the wild inhabitants. And let's start with the nest of a rather unusual shape. We have been watching it for a long time, but we haven't seen any birds living there so far. It's far more likely it's abandoned, so it means we can safely explore it. By the way, Google suggests that the previous host of the nest is the Remus bird. It's time to start the internal inspection. The endoscope shows the inside of the nest rather poorly, but it seems for a while that there are honeycombs in it. Have the wasps made the bird leave its place of living? As the nest is abandoned, we cut it off for a more detailed study. The Remus spend a lot of time building the nest to provide a high level of warmth. There is such a strange feeling, the nest seems to be solid, but bands went to press. By the way, it consists of animal hair, tree fluff, cobweb. There are several skeletons of baby birds inside the nest. It is possible to see the spine, small feathers, and even the beak. Apparently, the mother of the baby birds hasn't returned to the nest, and the babies have died from starvation. Yeah, we have some very sad beginning of our video. This is a sign, guys, that we always need to protect our nature wherever you are. We have buried the nest, and it's time to search for other houses, where you can look into with an endoscope. Having wandered around the birch grove, we found an old and rather crumply stump. And someone has arranged fresh holes for themselves in it. As soon as we put the endoscope into one of them, we find a lizard, which isn't certainly very enthusiastic about such an invasion. Then we go to an old dam. I have visited this place many times and seen a huge number of swallows here. A huge colony of birds has chosen quite cozy place for themselves on the tower, from which there is a control of locks on the dam for water releasing. Here they have the best conditions. There is a great deal of different insects here, and they do not need water resources, because there is a whole reservoir nearby. By the way, here is a fun fact. It turns out that swallows build their nests not from some hard-to-reach materials, but from ordinary ground. Maybe they have settled near the water, because there are just tons of building material for new nests on the shore. It's such a big bird city that there is someone in almost every nest. You can see it with the naked eye. The muzzles of very young baby birds protrude and ask for a bug. It's time to take up the endoscope again. Let's see what's inside the swallow's nest. In the first nest we have found a small baby's birds. It's funny, but at the side of the camera, the kids have already opened their beaks. Probably they think that the mother has bought a protein grasshopper. In another nest we have found only eggs. Very soon there will be new residents of the town. For the third time, we put the endoscope into the nest and find quite mature chicks. So mature that they even manage to acquire plumage. 
you can see how much they differ from the yellow mouths from the first nest. Probably soon they will be ready to create their own family. Well, we have dealt with the swallow nests. We are lucky that there is something to see in each of them. That means it's time to move on to the most dangerous part of our video. Earlier we found a wasp's nest. But it was abandoned. Therefore, it was possible to consider only the structure. Today we have managed to find a nest in which there are many residents and it is located. Where do you think the wasps have created their nest? Believe it or not, we have found it in the ground. Let's see what they set up under the ground and why they choose such a strange place for their home. Here they walk along the hall, take out something or bring it in. The building is in full swing. If adult wasps eat sweets, then they feed their larvae with meat. To do this, they catch flies, caterpillars and all sorts of insects. Therefore, wasps are useful insects that save us from all kinds of pests. By the way, we have even managed to find larvae in an underground nest. And in other combs, there are only eggs. Unfortunately, we haven't seen the wasp uterus. We will not break the nest for the sake of a couple of shots. Protect the environment! Bye-bye!